Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you six of my favorite vanilla perfumes. These are, I think, must sniffs. I do have other vanilla perfumes in my collection, but these ones are ones that I think if you like vanilla perfumes, you have to check these out. A couple of them are a little bit more unique, really interesting. They're not just your run-of-the-mill vanillas. A couple of them I think are safer blind buys. Some of them are not quite as safe, but I think they're all very beautiful and that there is truly something in this video for everybody. I really hope that you enjoy hearing my thoughts on these vanilla perfumes. And and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail. My name is Alithia, and on this channel we talk mostly about perfume, so if that is your thing, please make sure to head on down and hit the subscribe button. Also feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram if you like, where I share a lot of little tidbits of my personal life and lots of pretty perfume pictures, home decor, minimalism, decluttering, my cat, all kinds of things like that. And with that out of the way, let's get started in today's video. Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've posted, but I promise I'm going to be more regular now. Life has just just been very very busy um, I wanted to share with you I am burning a Bath and Body Works marshmallow fireside candle I literally just cracked into this one today the wicks are a little unevenly spaced apart but that's okay this is one of my favorite Christmas candles of all time and just because I know some people will ask um, I achieved this nail look at home I recently started doing my own gel nails so this is actually a really haphazard job I did not do the greatest job I just kind of like quickly whipped them out so I got a little bit on my cuticles and didn't do the greatest job um, but I always have people ask me what colors I'm wearing and where I get my nail polish from so this is gel I will link everything down below that I use to do my nails at home you guys it's actually really easy um, I do my own gel nails and then I just take them off before I go to work so this is actually a uh, package like a theme package um, of nail polishes that all came together it's like an ombre brown very very pretty I'm really really loving them and they perfectly fit today's video which is vanilla perfumes um, yeah so I will link the top coat and and the colors and a gel lamp and everything that I use at home to get my nails done down below if you guys are interested and with that out of the way let's get into today's video okay guys so the first vanilla perfume I want to share with you is actually one that is new to me and this was sent to me kindly from M. Mikalef Perfumes so thank you so much to M. Mikalef for sending me this perfume I had actually spoken to them about this one I have had a sample about it I smelled it before I thought it was absolutely beautiful and I told them I would love a bottle of this to share with you guys so this is note Vini, and this perfume you guys is such a gorgeous vanilla perfume this is one of the prettiest I think easiest to like vanillas I've ever smelled if you like something warm and cozy and a little bit woody and a little bit boozy and you love vanilla this is a perfume that you absolutely must check out so before I get into what it smells like I do want to just kind of give you a close-up of the bottle so if you're not familiar with Mikalef Parfums, they do adorn their bottles in really, really beautiful decorations. They have these hand-placed little crystals on the bottles and hand-painted. They're just so beautiful. The amount of artistry and craftsmanship that goes into their fragrances is incredible. This is a very, very high-quality perfume house. They just make some beautiful perfumes. And I will be honest with you guys, I'm always honest with you, even if a f company sends me a perfume that I don't particularly like, even if they're an amazing company or I really want to work with them or whatever the case is, I will always be honest with you guys and tell you if I like the perfume or if I think it's for me or if I think it's not for me. And I will be perfectly honest, most of the fragrances from Mikalef perfu Perfumes do not work for me. A lot of them I just don't think are my vibe. Um, a lot of them smell a little bit too much her for me. A lot of them smell a little bit like too much like old money for me, but there are a couple that I find incredible. And this is one of them. This is a beautiful, beautiful perfume, you guys. Okay, so in the top notes, we have mandarin, orange, and citruses. In the middle, we have floral notes and jasmine. And in the base, we have vanilla, rum, cognac, amber, and sandalwood. And I will also be honest and tell you guys that I don't really love boozy notes in my perfume. If you watch my channel, you probably already know that about me I'm just not a huge fan of boozy notes in perfume a lot of fragrances such as Killian's Angel Share and other fragrances that have a strong kind of a rum or cognac component to them they just don't work out for me this one however for some reason it works so well in here and it is so well blended I'm telling you guys if I didn't know that that was a note in here that those were notes in here I would not have picked them up and this perfume you guys oh my gosh 
Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. What this reminded me of right off the hop the very first time I ever smelled it was Jessica Simpson Fancy, which is a very um, caramelly, sweet, warm, cozy, kind of a vanilla fragrance. This, however, smells much more elevated. It smells much more sophisticated than a celebrity perfume. It Oh my gosh, it, you guys, this is this is absolutely stunning. And by the way, this video is not sponsored and I don't make anything for telling you about this perfume. This fragrance is a must sniff if you are a vanilla lover. So what this also reminds me of, it has a touch of a sweet brown sugar component, similar to what is in Cali Vanilla. It doesn't smell just like Cali Vanilla, but it does have this kind of sweet gourmand brown sugar twist that really reminds me of Cali Vanilla. It also has a bit of a spiciness to it. Even though there's no spice listed in the notes, it does have that cognac and that rum and that sandalwood. So it also reminds me a tiny, tiny tiny bit of Killian's Angel Share. Just a hint. If you had to break down this perfume, I would say it is about 70% Jessica Simpson Fancy, 20% Kaylee Vanilla, and 10% Killian Angel Share. Mix those three together in about that ratio and that's what this is. Also throw a little bit of a jasmine in there. There is a little bit of a creamy jasmine touch in here. This, you guys, this is so 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 beautiful. I can't even... I'm just, I'm totally taken with this perfume. I mean, it smelled good when I had the sample, but having this brand new fresh bottle and spraying it for the first time, it completely took my breath away. So like I said, a lot of Mikalef perfumes remind me of kind of old money, too mature, just not really my cup of tea. However, this is kind of like the heiress. This is the young, beautiful woman who has just inherited a huge fortune and she's going to a Christmas party and she's smelling sensual and vanillic. That's what this is. Oh my God, it's just incredible. And on your skin, you guys, this gives, first when you spray it, it's a little bit citrusy, a little bit fresh. There's these like creamy, subtle florals in the opening. And then it very quickly becomes this sort of sweet, creamy, almost brown sugary vanilla scent. And the rum and the cognac is very much there just as a supporting note to make it a little bit more complex and interesting. This is your Christmas party perfume. If you are going to a Christmas party and you don't know what to wear and you want to smell feminine and sensual and beautiful, you have to check this out, you guys. I'm telling you, it's incredible. And it basically smells the way the bottle looks. So it smells soft, it smells a little bit golden, it smells a little bit brown, it smells very cozy, very winter, very fall. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous perfume. So I won't spend too much more time talking about this one, but thank you again so much to M. Mikala for sending this to me. I adore this, and this is going to be my scent of the day, I think, for the entire week, because <laughs> I'm just obsessed with it. So that is M. Mikala, Note Vini. So my second vanilla perfume is one that's a little bit more affordable and a little bit more mainstream, and chances are you've probably already smelled it. And this is Mont Guerlain Intense. So this one is definitely a little bit more um, sweet, and designer smelling and it's not quite as boozy or woody as the one I was just talking about as Note Vini. This is essentially a stronger, more vanillic version of Mont Guerlain. So Mont Guerlain from Guerlain, as you guys know if you watch my channel, is one of my all-time favorite vanilla perfumes. The reason I decided to include this one in today's video is because this one is just a touch more vanillic. It's even heavier on that vanilla. And if you are a vanilla lover, this is a must sniff. I remember I blind purchased this about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. I haven't put a huge dent in it since then, but that's because I have tried hundreds of perfumes <laughs> literally over the last two years, so there's just not a lot of time for me to put dents in my perfumes. Um, but I remember when I first took this out of the box, and I remember thinking it smelled like there could almost be a little bit of white chocolate in here. There's something very creamy and very delicious about this perfume. So this has notes of lavender, mandarin orange, bergamot, two types of vanilla. You have Tahitian vanilla and Madagascar vanilla. You also have iris, jasmine, samba, rose, coumarin, patchouli, licorice, benzoin, Australian sandalwood, and musk. So this is a little bit creamy. It has a subtle, subtle, soft spiciness about it. It also has this relaxing, beautiful, feminine lavender. It has a tiny bit of a freshness in the opening. Overall, it is that heavy vanilla fragrance that is very nuanced by the Mont Guerlain DNA. Beautiful scent, you guys. I absolutely love it. This is a go-to for me if I'm having a date night or if my boyfriend's coming over and I don't know what I want to wear and I just want to smell sensual, feminine, beautiful, classy, um, and just very easy, very carefree, 
This is not a perfume you have to think too hard about. It is easy to wear, it is beautiful, and it's super, super enjoyable. And that is Mon Guerlain Intense. The next vanilla perfume, you guys, I would say that this is probably the least heavy in vanilla out of all the ones I'm going to be talking about today. This one is a woody vanilla, and I would say that the woody component that's in here actually overtakes the vanilla a little bit, so it's not a super vanilla dominant fragrance. But the reason I wanted to include it in today's video is because this is still one of the most unique, incredible, intoxicating, sensual, gorgeous amazing vanillas I've ever smelled, and it is a absolute must try. Not saying you're gonna love it, not saying that it is a completely safe blind buy. I did blind purchase this, you guys, and it turned out to be my best purchase of the year, and I still hold true to that. This is still probably my best blind purchase of 2021, maybe even my best purchase of 2021. It is incredible. So the notes that you have in here are salt, incense, black pepper, ylang ylang, cypriot oil, Indian jasmine, vanilla, moss, and sandalwood. And let me just take the lid off because I have to re-experience this perfume for you guys. Oh my gosh, this is incredible, you guys. This is an incredible, incredible fragrance. I don't even know where to begin. This smells a little bit like the ocean. It smells a little bit like a spa. It smells like a sophisticated woman who's wearing a vanilla perfume. It has this woody sort of foresty component and I always describe it as foresty because I feel like people, means, like normal people know what that means. And by normal, I mean people who are not obsessed with perfume. It has that like piney, a green smell as if you walked into a forest and you're smelling like the pine needles and the spruce. A little bit of that, but very clean, very clean, very oceanic, very salty. Oh God, you guys, <laughs> you know what? All of these perfumes are incredible. All of these perfumes are bomb fragrances. You cannot go wrong with any of them and this is no exception. And this thing, I'm not kidding you, this has the best performance out of any, per any perfume in my collection. This lasts the longest, longer than any other perfume I have. For me, it is a little bit of a summer perfume. I don't really see this as a winter perfume, but I live in Canada, you guys. It's minus 20, so not exactly like fresh oceanic perfume weather, if you know what I mean. So for me, I save this for the summer, but if you live anywhere south of where I live, or if you just like wearing summer perfumes in the winter, go for it. And this perfume has a sensuality to it. I always tell you guys that this smells like, this just has a sexiness to it that I cannot put my finger on. It is just, it's incredible, you guys, and it is not a linear fragrance. It changes so much after you get it on your skin. When you first spray it, it is quite woody and strong and a little incense-y, but that vanilla is still lingering in the background, and as it starts to dry down, it changes and it becomes just heavenly, you guys, and intoxicating and seductive, and it's a wow factor perfume. It is a wow factor perfume. So far, this is my favorite from the Armani Privé collection, and it is a must sniff. So that is Blue Turquoise from Armani Privé. My next must sniff vanilla is Spiritus Double Vanille from Guerlain. So this is a pretty popular, um, I guess it's not niche, but it's a higher end, more luxurious fragrance with a very hefty price tag. This was kind of my unicorn perfume in a sense, because for a really long time, I found it difficult to find a bottle. Every counter seemed to be sold out. You couldn't find it on discount websites. It was always sold out. And I don't live anywhere near a counter where I can go and actually smell a bottle of this or pick up a bottle. So in a lot of ways, even though this wasn't discontinued or anything, this was still for me like a unicorn perfume in the sense that I didn't think I would ever have it. It was just so expensive and so exclusive to, to me. I felt like it was totally excluding me because location, cost, availability, all of that stuff. So finally, when they did come out with the repackaging of these bottles, I scored a bottle as soon as I could figure out where they were gonna be sold and how to get my hands on one, I got one. And I'm so happy. This is one of the best vanillas. I mean, all of these vanillas today are great, you guys, but this is arguably in my top two, I think, top two vanillas for life. This is a very seductive, sensual, beautiful, feminine, sweet fragrance, and this is more vanilla dominant. So you have other notes of incense, pink pepper, bergamot, cedar, ylang ylang, Bulgarian rose, jasmine, vanilla, and benzoin. These bottles are customizable, by the way. The new, um, the new form, or not formulated, but the new designed bottles are customizable. So of course, I went with pink, because I love pink, and this is like a faux leather. And let me just take the top off here. 
Again, this is kind of similar to Note Vini from Mikalef, and it's also kind of similar to Kali Vanilla. They're all in the same ballpark, and I think that's because they're all sweet, feminine vanillas. They are very sweet, they are very feminine. If you like to smell vanilla, and you like to smell feminine, and you like to smell a little bit gourmand, a little bit brown sugary, seductive, um, just beautiful. And at the same time, this is sparkling. This is a formal, for me, this is a formal vanilla. Not to say you couldn't wear it other times of year, you can wear this vanilla anytime you want. I mean, I've worn this in my pajamas at home and I felt super bougie and super beautiful and it just lasts forever. It lingers forever on your skin, lingers forever in your clothing, a must have. If you are a vanilla fan, this is a must have, no questions asked. So the second last vanilla that I have on today's list is Kiali Vanilla 28. And this would not be a vanilla video if I didn't include Kiali Vanilla 28. The name says it all and also this is a hugely popular fragrance. So you can see by the dent how much I love this. This is one of the biggest dents I have in my perfume bottles. Haven't had this one for as long as some of my other ones. And I have recently given myself permission to finally start wearing this again because I finally got my hands on a backup. So so this is always sold out you guys it's just such a good easy to wear feminine beautiful vanilla I think there's a reason that it's hard to find I do have to say that I know that this perfume does get hate sometimes um, I think a lot of people are under the impression or feel that the performance isn't great but that's very subjective you guys and there's so many factors that come into play like how many sprays are you doing are you spraying too close to your face so then you become a nosmic do you have well moisturized skin are you putting it on your clothing or just your skin there's so many different factors that come into play also is it a brand new bottle is an older bottle. I have always found that this had decent performance for me. Never had a performance issue whatsoever. In fact, I've gotten compliments from complete strangers wearing a mask two meters apart in public because of this perfume. So I know that it projects and if I couldn't smell it on myself or enjoy it, I just wouldn't keep it because that would be pointless. So definitely test this out yourself. So this is a vanilla orchid brown sugar vanilla perfume. There's also a little bit of jasmine, there's tonka bean, there's amber, musk, amber wood, and patchouli. And there's actually no straight up vanilla in here, but there is vanilla orchid. And again, so this smells very similar to Note Vini from Mikalef. This smells a little similar to Spiritus Double Vini. Those perfumes are all kind of along the same line. If you like one, I think you will probably like the other. I think it would be pretty impossible for you to like one of those perfumes and not all of those perfumes. Without a doubt, the Spiritus Double Vini has the best performance out of those three. And this probably has the weakest performance, but that doesn't mean that it's a weak perfume. And yeah, this is just a gorgeous fragrance, you guys. It's just easy to wear, it's sweet, it's feminine, it's sensual, it's vanillic, it's brown sugary, just beautiful, feminine, and easy to wear. And this would not be a vanilla video if I didn't include Cali Vanilla. So this is definitely one of my favorite vanillas of all time. And finally, my last vanilla perfume in today's video, and if you already knew, then you already knew. <laughs> if you watch my videos, you knew this was gonna be in here. This is Luby Rouge from Christian Louboutin. Now I have to say, you guys, I have turned a lot of people onto this perfume. Most people, I would say 95% of people who write me or comment and say that they bought this because of me, say that they are head over heels in love with it. And actually, I just shared a decant of this with a friend. And even she said, this is fire. Like she said, this is fire. This perfume is so good. And I said, I told you so. <laughs> this is an incredible fragrance. So this is a cardamom, iris, and vanilla perfume. The bottle is super exorbitant. It just looks bougie. It just looks luxe. This was on my wish list so hard until I got a bottle. I wanted this bottle so badly. I'm a huge fan of Louboutin in general. I love the shoes. I love everything about the brand. And this fragrance is, oh my gosh, give it back again. Oh, this fragrance is so good, you guys. So this has kind of a soft, woody, soft, spicy touch. It's a little bit powdery, and then it has this vanilla. So it kind of smells a little bit lipsticky, a little bit cosmetic-y, but then it has that beautiful blend of cardamom in there. So it doesn't smell masculine. I think it smells very feminine. Pretty good lasting power. It's not a beast, but it's definitely not weak. And when I wear this perfume, you guys, I just feel extremely luxurious and bougie and beautiful and feminine, and I just love it. It does not disappoint. Such a good perfume. Um, I did take the lid off because the lid is huge and crazy, and if you have it on the bottle, like so, 
it barely fits on camera. Just a really big, beautiful, exorbitant bottle. And this was a little bit pricey, but it was worth every penny. I love it. You can see that there is already a chunk missing. I'm sitting at about 85% full right now, and this will be a repurchase. This will hands down be a repurchase, and I just love it. So that is the last fragrance in today's video. Christian Louboutin Luby Rouge. Okay guys, so those are my top vanilla recommendations. Let me just give you another quick recap and tell you which ones I think are the safest blind buys. Honestly, I think you really can't go wrong with any of them, but there are a couple that are definitely safer than the rest. So in my humble opinion, the one that I think is probably the safest blind buy is definitely Kaylee Vanilla. That one I think is gonna be your most mass pleasing and very unlikely that you're going to dislike the way it smells. Second to that, I think the safest blind by even though it's expensive i think it is pretty darn safe to get spiritus double vanille because i simply cannot imagine somebody not liking that perfume i've never seen a video or a comment or anything where somebody said they did not like this perfume it is just highly highly likable and it's quite similar to cali vanilla so that one even though it's pricey still a pretty safe blind purchase my third safest blind buy is probably going to have to go to and Meek Left Note Vanille because it does have a lot of the same characteristics of Spiritus Double Vanille and Cali. It's just a very sweet, feminine, pretty, very cozy, likable vanilla scent. My third safest blind buy is going to go to Mon Guerlain Intense. It's a little bit more aromatic. It's got that lavender, not your run of the mill. It does have some licorice in it. So this one might not be quite as safe, but it's also beautiful. And my second last one is gonna probably go to Luby Rouge. There's a pretty good chance you're gonna like this one. It depends if you like a little bit of woodiness, a little bit of spiciness, and it does smell a little bit different. It smells a little bit more niche. Even though it's not really a niche perfume, it smells a little bit more niche and yeah, but it's beautiful. So this one is still a pretty good one. And then the one that I think is the least safe blind buy is Blue Turquoise because this one is definitely the most different. It's the most unique. It's a little bit nuanced. It's not super vanilla dominant. It does have some salt and some woody notes and some green aspects to it. Um, that being said, most people who have purchased this based on my recommendation ended up loving it. So if we go by statistics, it does prove to be a pretty safe blind buy, but it's also a little bit pricey, so maybe try before you buy. But yeah, so those are my top vanilla recommendations. I hope that you guys really enjoyed. Please let me know down below if you have a vanilla recommendation, and also if you've smelt these, which is your favorite. And I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. So that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these perfumes. Please let me know down below what is one of your top favorite vanilla perfumes, or are you somebody who just doesn't like vanilla? Because I know there's people out there who just don't like vanilla. <laughs> and I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye for now. I'm on the other side, I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I came, your way to strong, cannot keep it low key. Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof, auto, your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. 